Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of my God of War Ragnarok playthrough. That could potentially be the last time I say that. I ended the last part accidentally walking to the temple. I didn't realize I was at the temple. I went up the lift and it locked me into speaking with Freya and walking down the bridge. And then it wouldn't let me interact with anything else. So the next thing I'm supposed to do is rest. I tried to go close the rift. That's right beside the temple with um, that was caused by Thor's hammer and Kratos' axe. And it won't let me interact. So I'm assuming that at least for the time being, I'm not going to be able to do any more side stuff. And I think I am kind of stuck in to whatever is going to happen next. I could be wrong, but that is my theory. So I'm very excited to find out what happens next. So let's get into it. I'm going to check this one more time. Thor did this? We both did. Ugh. Damn. Hammer. Just okay. like in <laughs> but I still can't interact. I guess I have to rest. Maybe I can come back. Okay. My trip to Asgard didn't go quite so well. Yes, there are some lessons to be learned by planning. And others by learning to adapt. That's why you two were such a great team. I doubt it's because we had such a lousy old man. Son, it's true Njord was not much of a father. <laughs> but he's the reason we were able to be a family. Yeah, funny you should be so hard on him, Freyr, since you inherited his wanderlust. Especially in times of importance. That's not true. I had good reason for leaving those times. Okay. Tell her. <sighs> I have missed this. Okay, so let's rest. I could be wrong. Maybe like right after I rest, it Excuse lets me interact. Me. May I have a moment with Lanier? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more, except perhaps a dance. Yet though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly <laughs> stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you. Can I sleep here tonight? <laughs> Absolutely. Tell you 
a story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived, he, Please don't die. got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Does my request upset you? <sighs> Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. Mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. Why does she, what does she die from? You are quiet. I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh. oh. In my land, we entomb our loved ones. 
You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. <laughs> you once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. In circumstance, yes. But not in purpose. What was that sound? You prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me whenever that day comes for you and for our son. We will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. See? You feel your absence? No. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir. you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor 
to fight alongside you, General. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? In the temple. Sound Gallahorn. I feel like I'm like mentally preparing for this game to like crush me, so. <sighs> I'm actually, I'm curious if I could do this really quick. I probably won't do it anyways. I just want to see if we're locked into this. I feel like the answer is probably yes. <gasps> no. All right, well, let's do this and then we go sound Gallahorn. That was all. Okay. <laughs> all right, well, let's see. Midgard is 45% completed. That's okay. I mean, we got all the lore, which is to me the most important part. I feel like I need to level up though. I can't remember if I used the chaos flame I got. I, I don't know. Storming Asgard and, and whatnot. I thought you could make use of it. Indeed. You have seen Sindri. Yeah. He ain't in a good place right now. But who is? I'm sorry, Lunda. I know you and Bro. Just tell me you're gonna get Odin. Tell me whatever it takes, you're not letting that bastard walk away from this. You will not. Damn right. And if in the process you happen to tear him a bucket load of new holes in places he don't want him, I'll be rightly obliged. Ugh. Quality stuff for you. Okay, it was the spear that I could upgrade. Ought to make Odin's spear look like a toothpick. Now those are some angry knives. I don't. Oh, I can upgrade. Holy shit! Okay. I'm dead. Leave some hands. Guess I could upgrade everything. Jeez. Okay. I can't upgrade it anymore. Huh? Can I buy some from her? Craftable. I mean, I think I have the best on, so that's fine. And then... Skills. Spear. Unlock it all. Let's see, this is a combo, four R1s, one R2, okay. Hold R2 to siphon an enemy's element into the spear. Oh, that's cool. Continue holding R1 to impel a third spear into an enemy in quick succession. Okay. Press R2 while sprinting to deliver. Yeah, I know that one. Fully charging gale force before releasing R2 significantly increases. Wait, what was gale force again? Aim and press R2. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. And then fully charge it before releasing. Got it. Okay. Think that does it. Well, oh, do you think it wise to go off without stocking up? You may never get a 
your chance again. I'm so sorry that was dark. Why would she say that? General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Okay. I came to these lands to escape my past, to start a new life. I can hide no longer. I do not want this war. We have suffered enough. Prophecy did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered. Enough! No matter the cost. This ends... today. If going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too, that's where I'll be. A big, fat smile on my face. For Brock. Holy shit. Tower's fallen. And if Odin goes after Niflheim next, they're trying to shut out Ragnarok. We gotta stop those war machines. Oh shit. Not an ideal start. We don't have time. I know. Just wait. <gasps> Ingrid! Well, we got work to do. <laughs> you three, Paula, Atreus, Freya. With me. Watch our flanks. To the war machines. 
fight to reach the war machines. looking around I don't know I mean I know I need to fight but what's our next plan brother we have no other plan our focus remains on the war machines we should head for the flaw behind the Asgard tower without Ragnarok, rockets our only chance to break through the wall Princess flaw you said only Sartar knew how to use it let's pray I was wrong <laughs> <laughs> I killed that. The war machines. We use them to breach the floor and strike the city with our allies. Sounds desperate. Good. Desperation is our advantage. Would have preferred a realm destroying fire giants, but I suppose desperation is better than nothing. This is just like kind of shuffling me in one direction. Is this the way? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, it's shuffling me in one direction. Is that a Valk it was? Yep. Odin's new Valkyrie queen is Gnar. This complicates things. I would oh, think so. Oh, shit. Then we must hurry. Another pass! The Alpha! No! <laughs> Oh, Careful, come on. That was too close.
Oh. Up here. Welcome sight, but he didn't follow us from Midgard. Curious. He'll keep Thor busy at least. Yeah. What? They sound eager. Good. Another pass. <laughs> the Alpha. <laughs> Looks like the giant giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind, later. The Ain Herjars link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Like he looks... won't let us down. We have to trust him. Hmm. Rally all you can. We will make for this fall of Hunt Tower. <laughs> the snake looks different because it's younger? Smaller, maybe? Because Atreus created it? So huh. what's the plan? How are we gonna breach the wall without Ragnarok? The war machines. Oh, so we're pretty desperate, huh? Careful, brother. You're covered in Vibrod. Oh my god. Getting messed up. There, that pillar is standing on looks weak. Holy shit. Everybody! No! That Valkyrie falls us to the realm dead. Your friend. She She'll be fine! We got more important things to worry about. Even if we can breach the wall. Perhaps it is better this way. Better for who? Oh, I need help. We need to go help her. the hell? Are people supposed to be like that? The 
dwarves are here! Way to go, Sindri! Ah, uh, it's just Sindri! I know, I'm late. Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this. Sin, we... Save it! Odin forced them to build those war machines. And I'm here to tear them down. Before you break them, we must turn them on the floor. Fine. Leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giants. Aw, oh, come on, Sindri. Listen. This music is crazy. Shit. By bloody time he showed up. Just like that? More or less what you wanted. I, I didn't want this. No. Close your heart to it. Close your heart. Who are they? My guardians. Odin took them in. They shouldn't be here. They're not soldiers. Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice... everything. What are you doing? Son, listen closely. You feel their pain because that is who you are. And you must never sacrifice that. Never. Not for anyone. I was wrong, Atreus. I was wrong. Open your heart. Open your heart to their suffering. That is your mother's wish. And mine as well. Today, sir. Today, we will be better. But what can we do? See the size of that thing? Well, I think we're gonna win. I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we... We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Hrimthor's flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice, not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three, get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Fred and I will do what we can to. Slow, Ragnarok. He was not mindless before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will 
will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Falky! Uh, no! No! Protect him! I will help those that are trapped. And meet you at the fall. Go! Go, Atreus! <laughs> Protect the refugees. Sentry, be careful and stay behind me. You be careful. I'm here to fight. Oh, Sentry. Can I just say? No, you can't. Shut up and fight. Uh, messed up Sindri a little bit in the process, but it's okay. me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies dude you're okay my mom was right about you all along you're a killer just like your father and you're here to kill us all no just odin <laughs> sindri go she's a friend friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep loki <laughs> you're right you're right I, I i made some bad decisions you do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. I is Skjolder okay? Have, have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us, knowing they can't fight. Their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem in front of him. The Guardians. Your friend. Our family, any of us. I had hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it... It has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? Thrude. 
I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? But our family... Without Odin, we can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. Is he okay? He said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. He said we owed him. Of course he did. You don't owe him your death. <laughs> oh shit. Dad will never let them get the grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Finally. I mean, I'm glad we don't have to fight through. I was worried about that. Okay, here we go. Who is the girl? Hi, through Thor's daughter. Thor's daughter? She's my friend. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, come on. Let's use the spear. What? what? Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. Gosh, I'm covered in Bifrost again. I hope Sentry's okay. Holy shit. Oh, I never see them until it's too late. Great launch. That's where we gotta go. Yeah. I didn't wanna listen. That may not be our biggest problem right now. Roman Gander! Get back to your sister. You must hold back Ragnarok. This fight is mine. But if I could just take Atreus and the mask and do not look back. My son trusts you, so I trust you. Stay away from her! Dad, wait! I am done with you and your son! Oh my goodness! No! No more fucking games! And this time, I'm allowed to kill you. We do not need to do this. We do. It's what we are. I can take it. Can you? Oh, okay. Then he kicks. That it? Oh, the lad seems to think you've changed. Prove it and stop this. Talking's over. Fight and die. You're what the old father made you. You can choose to I tried to dodge. Come on, 
Okay. I don't know what to do there. Backward, maybe? But the one where he's up in the air, I'm a little confused on that one. Oh shit! I, damn it! You attack my daughter! No, I did not. You bring this to my home. Okay, well that's a better start. Okay, what is what do I do when he goes up in the air? Backwards. Looks insane. One of us dies today. Still won't be me. Oh, I didn't want to keep her name out of your damn mouth. Everything was fine before Loki showed up. He almost convinced me. Can't be believing things oh, shit. They can. I don't want to kill him. No. Come on. Fuck. 
fuck are you waiting for? Your daughter. My son calls her friend. If you try to hurt her... I would not. Don't you know... ...what I've done? Yes! But what will you do now? We don't change. We... Uh, ...destroy us. No more. No more. For the sake of our children... ...we must be better. Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk! You don't think! I think you kill! It's a simple fucking concept! Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill! I did not want this. No! Dude, this was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. Looks like I gotta do everything around here. Your own son? Your granddaughter? What? Who the hell's gonna be fine? I saved her. And Thor. That one's what? you. You turned them against me. You turned them all against me. I can't believe he just killed Thor! What? Odin, please! You can stop this! You can stop this! Just give me my map! Sure! Trust you! Sounds like a great idea! Fuck. You started this fight. No, no, no. This all started long before you showed up. You are a nobody. So what am I supposed to do? God killer. This is what you want, right? Fuck, a shield if you're not going to use it. I'm using the damn shield. Ah! Damn it. Oh. 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 
No! Was this everything you hoped for? Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. Oh! oh. What? <laughs> Quite. Yes. I forgot she had that. <laughs> Think you're the only one who can craft a binding spell? I spent many long winters thinking about what I would say to you as I watched you take your last breath. But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore. And that's my friend. I forgot how good you look with wings. <laughs> oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. <laughs> Bow to your queen. I always loved you. You know. You've never loved anyone. Real time. Oh. 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 No, the mask. Father? Freya? Oh, God. You did it, Loki. No, no, no. <laughs> no more fighting. No. None of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Groa tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on a mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation. Unfold the secrets of life and death. No more doubt, no more confusion. You were born for this. Put on the mask, Loki. Ask it. Ask it the question. I feel like he shouldn't. This is your choice, son. I trust you. <gasps> no! 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 no. Why did you 
to that? What was it all for? You choose to be nothing! So be it. Attack! You've waited a long time for this, haven't you, Frick? So have I! Too late for that! Fly! Oh shit. Atreus could see stuff when he looked through it for a second. Oh, 
Oh my god, that was so close. This was our chance, Loki. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms. Or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. It wasn't my choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can't. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. Why'd you have to say that? Sofna, Afra, Desu, Sofna. 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 What? What do we do with him? I swore I would never rob from you the choice between life and death. I have waited so long. For this moment. And now that I'm here, I don't need this to make me whole. We stopped his madness. That's all that matters. Okay. I mean, it's Ragnarok. He's here. is your own. Follow it, and you'll end up right where you're supposed to be. Huh? There he is. Wake up, Atreus. Wake up. Glad you've come back to us. 
Uh, hi. Where, where is my father? Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. Thanks, Hare. Trophy earned Ragnarok. Find father. Where am I? Am I still in Asgard? No. We're back at Midgard. Okay. I'm like waiting for this shoe to drop, like. Mom, stop it, I'm fine. Hush. Throat. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea, and... I'm sorry. Thor. He was... He tried, you know? I'm sorry, I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort in knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki, it was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit? Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim to help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. <sighs> oh, and through. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. She looking for the hammer? Are I you can't. There weapons damaged in the battle? I think they're fine. Maybe a couple nicks here and there. Well, we can have them looked at later. Eh, we might not need to. Nonsense. A shield maiden needs all her tools in working order. That Seagrin would probably chew you out if they were dull. Oh, she would, would she? <laughs> I know I certainly would. I also know you would. This sounds crazy, but I didn't want Thor to die. Because he like reminds me of Kratos so much. But I can't believe Odin did that. That's Huh. Lugan made it out. Good for him. Oh, and if you could get this wood over to Brana's tent, she'd really appreciate it. Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just, I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just happy to help folks. We're on track to have bed rolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I... I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki, you did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey, you know me. Has anyone seen any extra blankets lying around? That snow might be melting, but it's still gonna be pretty cold in this place. Snow's melting. Up on extra tinder in case the fires go out. Oh, there he is. And one for the kid, too. Skull! Here, here. Skull. 
We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And for your sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freyer fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh. When we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man. But the man himself was very different. <laughs> he won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true. And incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are gonna make me start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you! I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya. It was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior. But even more than that, you have a good heart. <sighs> Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. Damn! Why are they trying to get me Atreus. so emotional? Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen. I want to thank you. Oh. What else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me. Mentored me. And... Well... You're basically another dad to me. What? No. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Huh? I love you too, little brother. See you, Mimir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Hildas Vini. I keep having to stop because my nose is running. <laughs> and it's nice down here, huh? No loud noises. We're okay. You did so good today, boy. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Maybe later we can find some treats. Okay. My turn. Who's that, huh? Yeah, we know him. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll surprise you. Oh, you already have. Thank you for saving us. Have I decided? It would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions? I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I... I just... don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. I do not wish to intrude. This is for you, too. <sighs> A 
Atreus. I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are too. What about all the giants and the marbles? So, what was the end of the story? What? Before Ragnarok. You promised to finish it if I fell asleep. Hmm. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He wished to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. It seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Einherjar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see. Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people. To protect you. They don't all open. I'm sorry. <sighs> Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there, and I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but they're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survive today because of your choices. Who to trust. Who to call friend. Son. Remember our promise. Loki will go. Atreus. Atreus remains.
where is she going? She needs to stay with us. What did you see in there, brother? see to it together to look at the shrine a little bit more. Music is so good. Holy crap, what a game! So, are they setting up for a game about Atreus? I guess is that what's happening? Ah, uh, there. We should probably talk about Ganar. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. Oh, yeah. A Vanir goddess. Your friend. Gana pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos, she hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find her than she finds us. Oh, and God. Another one for the big boy himself. Skull. 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 So we're going to have to find the new Valkyrie queen. Oh, God. Okay. It's 
still a lot to be done, I guess. We can hold a few dozen per camp. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although it won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. The realms at war completed. Where to first? We could take care of any lingering business in the realms. Or investigate those pieces of Asgard. Either way, we are with you, brother. The last remnants of Asgard started. Linda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's tavern in Svartalfheim. I'd like to go. Huh. When Jormungandr attacked Thor in Asgard, it seemed personal somehow. But there's no way they could have met before that, is there? I've been pondering that, and I have a theory. We know the lad spent his time in Jotunheim learning soul magic. Perhaps the serpent figured in. You mean Atreus placed some other giant soul into him? Someone who already hated Thor to begin with? Exactly! Though that doesn't narrow it down much, I grant you. I wonder if Yom even remembers after all this time who he once was. I mean, that's what he did, but I didn't, like, process that at all. Mamir, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Hildesfini told me about your visit to secure Hell's army, but was reluctant to elaborate when it came to negotiating with Hrasfelder. Ah, yes. Well, I can see why he'd hold off on such a subject until he saw if we survived the battle. Mamir, what exactly did you promise the Lars Bird? Oh, nothing too horrifying. It's just that she'd like to retire. Retire? Hell's Eagle wants to retire? Indeed. And don't ask me what she expects to do with her free time. I assure you, there is no reassuring answer. Can she even do that? Not be hell? Apparently so. She just requires relief. Someone else to step in and become hell, as it were. Not exactly an office many would wish to occupy. Aye. Terrible weather, infinite hours, and the possibility of unleashing terrible mischief on the realms if they're careless. Or worse, if they aren't completely trustworthy. But if she were to leave without a replacement? Complete chaos, yes. Well, I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> Hi, Kratos. All right. <clears throat> Would have been a shame to have left that behind. I think we'll end with going to Svartalfheim. For Brock's funeral, I guess. I think this is it. What's in Svartalfheim? There's work to be done. I helped construct some mining rigs throughout the bay. Part of my non-violent attempt at bringing the dwarves to heal. Why am I not surprised? Also what? We still have to find Durlin's missing hammer. Lead the way. I think this was it. I came by and took out an Einher Yard patrol. Area should be clear. Can't speak for the rest of town. Guess an occupying army is as good as a lockdown for tamping down foot traffic. That's not it. Profane alternate 
lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. Ah, <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> Once, he taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling, and from that day on, called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. Gods, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sphered Sands. It's uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. All right. Damn it. What is wrong? I should have changed. So in some morning guard, we're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. So. Now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. <laughs> Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> sure. Thanks for trying. There they are, brother. Oh, come on. Surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin.
Sentry. Black was. It's bigger the more you take away. The freaking hole. I feel terrible for Sindri. You know, for a friend. I don't know if there's anything beyond the light. Afterlives, after afterlives, or what have you. But if there is, well, I imagine he's causing one crazy ruckus there. I wrote that dirge for him. What's it called? Something profane. He wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Forgive Sindri, he's just... Uh... I mean, you know. Yep. I wonder if Sindri comes around in this, like in the rest of the stuff that we have to do at all. Or if it just ends like that. Alright you guys, I guess that completes my playthrough for the main story of God of War Ragnarok. I'm blown away at how great this game was just every single turn i felt like i was surprised by something i couldn't guess what was going to happen it has been an incredible experience playing all of these games and just i feel like god of war will always hold a very special place in my heart and i've really just bonded with these games in a way that i did not expect to ever happen and i just i've loved every moment of I'm sitting here and I'm trying to film an outro and I just feel really emotional. When I first started playing these games a few months ago, I could not have anticipated how deeply I would connect with the characters and Kratos and just the themes throughout the game and loss. If you watch my part one of 2018, then you know that I lost my mom a year ago and going into especially 2018, I did not have any clue what that game was about. I intentionally did not do any research and it felt very similar to the things going on in my life and dealing with loss and how you kind of, you know, cope after the fact. And it's just, these games have been very comforting for me to play, um, at times very emotional because it hits way too close to home, but I've loved this game. I feel like a lot of people can relate to that and I this game for me was a 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed the story. I've loved every second of playing this. I've loved watching Kratos and Atreus and even Mimir all bond and create friendships and it's just felt like a very special game. This was 100% game of the year for me personally. Um, I've said it a million times that I've just loved this journey. And I'm sad that the main story is over, but I'm very happy that Atreus and Kratos and Freya and Mimir, they all lived to the end of the game. I'm heartbroken that Brock died, but I feel like you almost could have saw it coming with them touched on the fact that he had already previously died and Sindri saved him. Not that you could have seen it coming, but you get what I mean. Like, um, now that I've like sat with it, doesn't surprise me that this was the end of Brock's journey. But I guess you could say the same for Kratos. I mean, he's beaten death so many times. If he had to die at the end of this game, that's what I was anticipating. I really did think that Kratos was going to die at the end of this game. So I'm very relieved to see that he's alive and hope that there's more to his journey. I don't feel like it needs to end here. Maybe 
um, we can go to a new pantheon, maybe, just maybe. Before I end this, I'd like to take a second to thank every single person who showed so much love and support during this playthrough. All the playthroughs, really. Starting God of War has been incredible, and the community that comes along with playing these games has been so kind and welcoming, and I would just like to thank you guys. But yeah, 10 out of 10, game of the year for me. I love this game. Um, takes a lot to get me emotional. It might not seem that way because I cry a lot, but it truly does take a lot to get me emotional. Um, but I think games where I feel like they relate is when I start to break down. <laughs> And this game does it for me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. There may be another part or two as I finish up fixing the aftermath of Ragnarok. But this definitely concludes the story as far as I can tell. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys for the next video. Bye guys.